What's going on everyone, I'm Rohan, I'm a medical student currently studying at Cardiff University and today we're going to be talking about what not to do on your first day of medical school. But first things first, I'm going to show you what I look like on my first day of medical school. Let me just pop an image somewhere around here. As you can see, I was a very thin, scrawny 18 year old when I joined university. And since then, I have gained a significant amount of weight. I think I gained like 20 kilos since uni started, but it's all for a good reason. I think I was 68 kilos when I joined uni. Still had a bit of belly fat on me, don't get me wrong. I was a bit of a skinny fat combination, but I was still very thin nevertheless. Now for some of you, you're gonna be starting your medical school experience soon. So I thought I'd break down exactly what the first day of medical school is like and what not to do on your first day. Now, the first day of medical school was absolutely difficult as hell. I think anyone that knows me since first year will know that I've done a complete 180 in how I am. I was a complete douchebag in first year, but now I think I've got a bit better. You know, I'm not as douchebaggy. I thought starting a new course in a different city that I should be the funniest one out there, I should be the cockiest, and I should make everyone laugh. I became friends with people that I thought would improve my social status, especially at university. But in reality, those friends came and went, and I don't even talk to half the people that I knew in first here anymore. Now, I'm not saying don't be outgoing and meet as many new people as possible. I'm just saying take everything with a little pinch of salt. First year only comes once, enjoy it, but don't do what everyone tells you to do and quote unquote impress everyone. The people that you meet in first year, you'll probably only know them for a few weeks and then you'll make your real friends. So don't be worried about not making friends at the start. You will make friends eventually. Everyone is as weird as you are. So now I'm just going to set the scene for you. What actually happened on your first day of medical school? So I had arrived at university on the Saturday, two days before for my first day of medical school. And since then, I had already gone out twice. Luckily, one of my housemates was a medical student. So I got to walk with her to campus on my first day. So I wasn't alone. I thought I would be alone until a swarm of medical students all appeared out of nowhere and we all walked together. So don't worry, you will go with other people. It's not just you. So as many of you already know, Cardiff University hosts many of their lectures within the hospital itself. So we walked to the Heath Hospital in the center of Cardiff and we all had our introductory lectures. Since we we're in the hospital, it was the first time that most of us have seen patients and staff working together and it was all just a bit of a whoa I'm gonna be working here eventually this is absolutely crazy bear in mind I just turned 18 I didn't even know how to drive yet how was I meant to ever save a life anyway I pushed all those thoughts to the back of my mind and then I went to the lecture theater and I sat in any seat that I could find so I couldn't sit at the front because that's too keen I couldn't sit at the back because I'm basically deaf and cannot hear anything so I sat in the solid middle I thought it was a good choice so now I had to decide who I wanted to sit with lucky for me my housemate obviously who I came with was with me so I sat with them so we sat through the intro lecture we got told that we would be future doctors and then in my mind all I could think of was the song So now came time for lunch. And as you will find out, probably on your first day of medical school, medical school doesn't really go to plan. My housemate found another group of friends to hang out with and I was left alone for lunch. So I had to fend for myself and I had to find somebody else to sit with. So I found a group of guys who were kind enough to let me sit with them and eat with them. And then we went to the hospital cafeteria. Now bear in mind, this was before I realized that I was gluten intolerant. So I'm sitting there chatting away to these guys, eating a bunch of wheat, realizing that my stomach is cramping and that I'm just sitting there just going, yeah, that's great. Yeah, this is amazing. No way you're from Nottingham. And I'm just cracking Joe's, just trying to get their approval. Then we got a tour of the hospital and basically got told where we would be working and living and eating for the next five or six years of our life. We also got introduced to our medic siblings. When you get to medical school, you do realize that at the start, it is one massive family. And I got introduced to my medic brother and my medic sister who were there just to help us get our bearings and help us around campus. So we wouldn't be by ourselves. I also have medic parents. And that night we had our medic initiation where the freshers go to their medic parents' house and they throw a massive party and and they play games and then eventually we all go out and celebrate that we have become medical students. So now that you have the first gist of what you actually did on your first day of university, let me tell you what not to do. And many of these are from experience. So tip number one, don't try and become friends with every single human being, animal, fish, life that you see. A few good friends are better than a lot of random strangers who you probably won't end up talking to anyway. Now don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that you don't try and make an effort to talk to people. Just don't get too close to every single person. Remember, you probably won't talk to these people in a couple of days. Tip number two, I know it's your first time at university. I know this is probably your first time in a lecture theater, but please to God, do not write down everything that they tell you. There is no need. There's plenty of time to adjust and figure out where all the lecture rooms are or where each classroom is or where the rooms are in the hospital. That you will learn with time. The first day only happens once. So don't forget to enjoy it. Don't just sit there, write down everything. Just listen and take it all in. Now, I know that many of you probably want to do stuff that you probably never 
done before. Like for me, I did kickboxing, boxing, I did football, I played tennis, table tennis, I mean, I did all sorts when I started university. Pick the ones that you're actually going to do. I cannot tell you this enough. You will probably never do any of the sports again. And most of these places are really sneaky. They make you pay up front for like a few terms in advance just cause they know you're never gonna turn up to another training session. For me, I started kickboxing, I went a couple of times and then I never went again. It was a bit ridiculous. So bear that in mind when everyone's approaching you with regards to your freshers fair, where everyone tells you what to do and what societies to join. So I thought instead of me just blabbering on about what I think you shouldn't do, I did a little Instagram post to all of my medical students out there for them to tell me what not to do on your first day of medical school. Here's a list of everything that people have said. Bear in mind, some of them have already been said once, but I just thought I'd let you guys know, just so that you don't have my point of view, you have other people's point of view as well. So do not buy useless textbooks. When you join university, especially medical school, all the doctors and all the staff will be like, you need this book, this book, this book, this book. Textbooks cost money. Do you have money? No, you have just started university. You have it, nada. You have student loan, yeah. That doesn't cover all the textbooks that you're gonna need. Don't forget, textbooks are online and they can be bought secondhand for very, very cheap. So don't go out buying all the textbooks that you can. Following on from that, never buy this thing. Do you see this? Do you see this box of Grey's Anatomy flashcards? This has never been touched. All of these cards are in pristine condition. And you wanna know why? It's because I never used them. I bought them at the start of medical school because people told me that it might be useful. And then I ended up never using it in the first place. So never buy Grey's Anatomy flashcards. Thank you. Like I mentioned before, don't just stick to one group try and meet as many new people as possible remember don't get too close to them just be nice to them let people know that you're a nice person or unless you're like me a douchebag that really works for you don't sit at the front of your lecture on the first day makes you look like a kino also probably not good because they'll pick on you so just sit the middle back not at the back because they'll definitely pick on you and you'll probably fall asleep because you're not listening to anything don't dress too formally remember this is medical school this is not your first day of being a doctor you're still a student at the end of the day so don't dress too formally come in a nice jeans maybe a nice t-shirt and a jacket maybe something like that when i joined university my fashion sense was completely crap and i came in tracksuit bottoms and a hoodie following on from that you will be given a lanyard when you start your medical school experience don't wear the lanyard on your first day everyone knows that you're a medical student everyone is going to be walking in the same direction as you you're going to be next to medical students you're going to be next to staff who know you're a medical student there is no need to wear a lanyard you're not interacting with patients you're not interacting with other doctors you're interacting with staff and students so get that in your head you don't need to wear the lanyard on your first day and in reality you don't actually start wearing your lanyard until you start placement or unless you have communication skills which don't start until the end of your first year I know this video was to tell you stuff not to do but here's some stuff to do on your first day in medical school just to enjoy yourself being a fresher and being a first year at university only happens once and from experience from somebody who has nearly finished their university career just enjoy your time at university as always thank you for watching if you have any more questions about your first day of medical school or anything about medical school in general then hit me up in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always let's go